like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 87 says, what is the coefficient of the term r cubed s in the expansion of 2r plus <clears throat> 3s to the fourth? Now, <clears throat> there is a kind of a shortcut um, for this problem using binomial expansion, but there's a lot of, well, there's a lot of memorizing going on there. And so I'm going to work this problem just from like an algebra one standpoint where I'm just going to multiply all these together and look for that r cubed s term. It's a little slower, I know, and you're going to sacrifice a little time doing it this way, but um, you know, that, this way you are not going to have to memorize uh, how to do binomial expansions. But if you're curious about that, um, if you're curious about how to shortcut your way through this particular problem, I want you to take a minute and, uh, you know, go Google this, binomial expansion. You'll get into Pascal's triangle and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, well, I'm going to take this kind of the long way, sort of the slow and steady way, right? The turtle wins the race here. So well, this way you don't have to actually memorize, you know, some rules for how to actually multiply this out. So I, I'm going to multiply just two at a time. And to do that, I'm going to multiply like the first term, the outside term, the inside two terms, and the last two terms. In other words, I'm just using the, the distributive property, but I'm distributing each term on the first polynomial by each term on the second polynomial. And I'm going to do that for these other two over here, but since the binomials are the same, you know, I'm just going to end up with the same thing. right? So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this out and simplify. So I've got 2r times 2r is going to be 4r squared, and then 2r times 3s is going to be 6rs. And then 3s times 2r, and we're going to get another 6rs, and then plus 9s squared. Oops, 9s to the s now. 9s squared. Uh, and I'll get the same thing for this, oops, for this second, um, for the second multiplication as well. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. Now the only simplifying I can do here is to combine my like terms. Uh, the 6rs plus 6rs is going to be 12rs. Now here I'm multiplying two trinomials. Um, so instead of like, you know, there's a lot of lines going on here. It's kind of easy to kind of get lost and, and, and kind of lose track of what you've already multiplied and all that. I'm going to use something called the box method here, which is, and this is really just to organize my work and make sure that I'm multiplying each term in the first polynomial by each term in the second. And so basically I'm going to make a three by three box here because I've got three terms in the first one, three terms in the second one. Uh, and I'm going to multiply each term in this first, well, let's just do it like this. So 4r squared uh, plus 12rs plus 9, uh, 9s squared. Okay, and I'm going to multiply that by itself. So I'm going to write the terms along the top row and down the, the top, uh, like along, uh, how do I say this, along the, the top row and down the first column. And so for each row in each column, I need to make sure I'm multiplying each set of terms. So like I need to multiply 4r squared by each term in the second poly uh, polynomial. And so this is just going to be a way to sort of organize this and make sure that I'm doing all the necessary multiplications. So here I've got 4r squared times 4r squared is going to be 16r to the fourth. Not really interested in that because we're only interested in the coefficient to r cubed s. So once we see that, we'll kind of see what um, our final answer is going to be here. 4r squared times 12rs is going to be 48r cubed s. That's really, uh, this is the one we want to focus on. Um, this is not going to be our final answer because we might have another term that has the same uh, variables that we'll have to combine. But we want to keep an eye on this one, right? That's got the, the term that we're looking for. Uh, down here we have 4 times 9 is going to be 36 r squared s squared. 
Okay, uh, barely fits in there, but it'll, it'll do. We don't really care about that term anyway. Oh, and uh, my box disappeared for some reason. Let's throw that back in there. Oh, there it goes again. Okay, I must be pressing some kind of button. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so uh, now doing the other multiplications, you know, down this first uh, uh, row, we're going to get the same things, right? Because we're just multiplying the same terms again. So I have another 48 s uh, r cubed s and another 36 r squared s squared. Okay, in this middle column, I've got 12 times 12. It's going to be 144. And then I've got two R's and two S's. So we don't really care about that one. But we'll just do the entire multiplication out so you can kind of see how it all plays out. 9 times 12. Uh, well, let's see. 10 times 12 would be 120. Uh, minus 12 would be 108. So 108 R S cubed. Um, and that should be the same thing if I multiply it in the other direction. 12 times 9 is still 108. So I'm going to have that copied down here. And then 9 times 9 is 81, and then times s to the fourth. So if we're going to actually write our complete answer here, it would be 16r to the fourth plus two of these 48r cubed s's. Let me kind of highlight those so you can see where I'm looking at. I've got these two are like terms. So 48 plus 48 is going to be 96. And you can double check that in the calculator. Uh, 96R cubed S. And then um, I've got actually three like terms here with the R squared S squared. So 36 and 36 would be 72. Uh, I'm going to have to break out the old calculator here real quick. 36 plus 144 plus 36. It's going to be 216. So plus 216 r squared s squared. I keep doing s to the s for some reason. Uh, plus 108 plus 108 is going to be 216 r s cubed. And then finally, we have this 81 s to the fourth. So the term that we actually really want is going to be this guy right here because it's asking what is the coefficient of the term r cubed s in the expansion? and the coefficient's going to be 96. So I did more work, definitely, than was required. Because um, once, you, once you see that, you know, where your r cubed s's are coming from, you don't really need to simplify the rest of it uh, unless it, it's asking for it. But this particular problem is only asking for these two terms, right? Uh, so, yeah, 96 r cubed s is going to be that term. So the answer is going to be 96. So that's it for number 87. Uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.